What's good, YouTube? Dutchman, you're back. It's been a while. And this has been one of the worst training blocks of Shaco I've ever had in my entire year of running Shaco, really. And that's why it's taken me a while to actually uh, post a video. Because, you know, I took my time these past two weeks and just taking it all in, wondering what to do with my life and training, etc. Because uh, it was a very bad block. I felt shit for the most part through all, throughout all of it. And it's a really good learning experience for me. It's one of the first times this has ever happened to me in a, a legit uh, good structured training program. And in my test week, which you're seeing on the screen now, I failed. I'm going to say it right now. I failed 250 kg. And I did not even bother to attempt uh, anything on bench and deadlift. Because to be honest, it just got me really down. And... It just gave me an opportunity to step back and think uh, about what am I supposed to do? Uh, is chasing numbers a good thing? Because coming into this uh, test week, I was chasing 250, 145, and 275 kg respectively. And as you're seeing on the screen right now, it's uh, 250 kg. You know, the usual shit felt light on my back. Good descent. <clears throat> I didn't like how I went out of the hole bar began to slip upward losing my position in my back and i could have fought it if it not i could have fought my way through that rep if i could if it did not slip roll down my back but it did so there's that and the bench just i was just drained at that point and then subsequent subsequent subsequently deadlift was drained so back to <laughs> the topic I just need to take a step back. You know, I've been running Shaco for one year straight. I think the volume finally got to me. And I was just beat down, man. I was run down. And I think it's important to alternate cycles of really high volume and really low volume. I'm, I'm beginning to notice now because, you know, one year straight of just really high volume stuff. It could work for a while, but I don't think it's going to work for a really long time. So I need to alternate that. Because volume is a really driving factor for <laughs> for a lot of things, you know. But at the same time, learning to just uh, reduce the volume can just do really good wonders for me. <sighs> Man, just it's hard to think about it right now. But you know, after this, this is what we talk about when we like learn from failure and stuff. And so it's normal to you know not get PRs every cycle. But, you know, it's just, it's just disheartening, you know, but you have to move on, uh, look to the future, plan ahead, see what we can do so that this could be prevented from happening again. And I think it was just chasing numbers. You know, I just I, I chased too much of that clout. I don't know. I, ch I chased too much of that. I just I had a total in mind. And I, yeah, this is what it is, man. Like, I, I chased too far ahead of me. You know, this lifting game, we need to be humbled. We need to be patient. And sometimes we fail. And for the most part, when we do fail, we grow from those failures. That's an important thing. And as of right now, that is the plan. We're going to back off training a little bit. Stop with the high volume shako. I'm going to go small volume shako for a while. And we'll see... How that affects my training, if I do get stronger, see where my technique lands me, I guess you can say. And just, just keep drilling in good form, good ideas. Just gotta stay positive, man. Like, everybody gets, uh, everybody gets, fa get, falls down sometimes, right? So, the plan, smaller loads of Shaco, and a little snip, a little uh, sneak peek, I'm cutting soon.